Here's a wonderful new idea for Christmas fun. Now you can turn your home into a window wonderland with a magic of glass wax and a set of these easy to use cut out stencils for glass wax. Why, it's so easy a child can do it. Just pour regular glass wax into a dish, dip in a sponge, and simply dab over one of the stencil designs. Put a jolly Santa like this on your windows in a matter of seconds, or Christmas trees, wreaths, Santa and his reindeer, all the lovely signs of Christmas that will make your home a window wonderland. All through the magic of glass wax and a set of these cutout stencils for glass wax. Buy your set of Christmas stencils wherever you buy regular glass wax. Beautiful holiday designs to help make a window wonderland at your home this Christmas. in a cold gray drawer. Yeah, there ought to be a law make them stay out there after breakfast anyway. Don't worry, Barney. After the day, you'll be shooting that one-eyed monster of yours for Uncle Sam. Yeah, and you'll be seeing plenty of cold gray dawns then, brother. <laughs> you'll find out that the signal cord is a lot of other things besides false signals. After ten years in this racket, it'll be a vacation. <laughs> a simple soul, isn't he, boys? Oh, woo! <laughs> to me. You're Dr. Randall, no? Yes. You're here to meet Agatha Brewster, aren't you? Well, uh, I... You're Carter of the Globe Tribune, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Say, there's a woman on that boat with the name of Agatha Brewster. Yeah? What about her? Ghost Carter. She's a sister of that uh, missing Dr. Brewster. Good story. A great story. A pep. Trying to sell your bootleg gas? Well, yeah, no, it's school ball, I guess. Yeah. 
That's her over there with the fur piece. Agatha, I'm awfully glad you're here. Come on, Barney. George, it's terrible. What happened? Miss Brewster? Yes. I'm from the Globe Tribune. Well? Miss Brewster's too upset over her brother to give an interview right now. Yes, another time. Uh... Oh, well, uh, may we have a picture? Go ahead, Barney. A pretty smile now. Smile? Oh, excuse me. Thanks. Now, about that interview, when may I see you? Oh, uh, some other day, the next week. Where? Miss Brewster will phone you. Oh, let her give you the brush off. It's a great story. Hey, what is this, anyway? That's right. If you'd only have listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. But well, what about the police? Haven't they been able to trace it? Fortunately, no. Fortunately? Yes, very fortunate. Agatha Jim isn't lost, except for this world. He's hidden away at Springdale in the old mansion. He'd be better off in the family cemetery plot. George. I'm sorry, but it's true. But what? Six months ago, we made an astounding discovery. It was so far in advance of anything that's been done to date that Jim decided to be the guinea pig for this experiment himself. I tried to talk him out of it, but you know how stubborn he is when he gets an idea in his head. We made the experiment, and unfortunately, it was a great success. So great, in fact, that We've been unable to counteract the results. And Jim, he's... He's still alive, isn't he? Yes. And the story of his disappearance was a fake? Yes, I put that out to cover the whole affair up so that if the worst comes to the worst, it saves him a great deal of unpleasant notoriety. George, what does he mean? Prepare yourself for a great shock. I guess. Brought her here. Stop shaking, Agatha. I will hurt you. Oh, you poor boy. Oh. Open the door. Get back!
the wild imagination of Cookie Professor Law comes a fantastic new creature. Is it man or monster? It's Big Lou, giant moon robot by Marx. You can make him work for you, fight for you, even talk to you with ten complete phrases. You sight the enemy through Big Lou's target scope. You can make him fight with all kinds of weapons. Blast off. Fire. Load his gun barrel arm and... Bam. Can anything stop him? No. Big Lou has all the tricks. Hear his bell. Blow his whistle. You can even buy batteries that make his eyes flash. He's ready to work for you, fight for you, even talk to you. Get the giant moon robot. Bargain price, Big Lou. By Marx. Here I was, out on my first assignment for them. Checked my spy attache case. Wiggle alarm off. Telescope set. Code sender ready. Coding machine okay. Signal flasher on. Passport spy money. Built-in camera loaded. Microphone ready. Testing one, two, three. He's coming through. Loud and clear. He's coming. Engine to the headquarters. He's coming. Hurry. Well done, Agent Two. Thanks. Get your super spy out of shake case now. Only Sears has it. So super powerful you can change him into nine of the mightiest superheroes of all time. Change Captain Action's uniform and face mask and he's Batman. Fighting crime with his batarang. He's the mysterious Phantom. He's the Lone Ranger. He's Flash Gordon and he's Superman flying to the rescue. Get Captain Action complete with uniform, sword and ray gun. Then get his nine other great superhero outfits. They each come with action-ready uniform, face mask, and realistic equipment. Fighting evil, that's greed. Thundry power, lightning speed. Captain Action, he's ideal. Creepy crawlers, creepy crawlers, creepy crawlers. You can make all kinds of lovely things like these with Mattel's wonderful Thing Maker. It makes creepy crawlers, spiders, lizards, snakes, dragonflies. Make them yourself with this nice plastic goop. Choose a mold, pour in the goop, heat it, and presto change -o. You've got bugs. Squiggly, squirty bugs. They feel so soft and natural. You get four different colors of goop and special paints. Make charming lizard pins or spider rings. You can collect them or spread them around. After all, they are fun for the entire family. <laughs> get Mattel's new thing maker with creepy crawlers. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. coming with that ghost yarn. I couldn't get a thing out of her at the boat. Now I'm going through the morgue. Boy, is she a screwy dame. I don't want that junk. I want a personal interview. And get me some more pictures. Good ones. Barney Smell. I'm sending someone down to replace him. Name's Billy Mason. Okay, Chiefy. Now hop to it. And don't call me Chiefy. Okay, Chiefy. Going into the army has sure done something to Barney. Looks more like a ghost than a ghost hunter to me. Now, just what could have happened to get such a piece of tripe? Well, it's out of focus. It's underexposed and overdeveloped. And besides, there are two pictures on the same negative. Is that all? <laughs> yes. 
Yes, sir? Take Miss Mason down to Carter. She's taking Barney's place. Yes? Well, thank you very much, Mr. Martin, for giving me the break. I'm sure I can... Ah, forget it. But remember, I'll be satisfied with just one picture on each negative. I'll do the very best I can. Carter? Billy Mason. Okay, sit down and take the load off your feet. I'll be with you in a minute. Went by when I wasn't looking. I see you know your perfume. I know that one. In fact, I'll never forget it. The first girl I met that used it either. Nice. Yeah, but she liked it. So? She told me her boyfriend was in boot camp. Hey. Okay, Mason, let's go. Mason. I'm Billy Mason. Huh? I said I'm Billy Mason. I'm taking Barney's place, wherever he is. Well, why didn't you say so? Come on, let's go. Springdale, the old Brewster home. We'll interview a screwy old dame and get some pictures. Good pictures, I hope. Why the I hope? A good reporter generally gets an interview. Not worried about the interview. It's the pictures I'm worried about. Oh, I get it. Well, listen, Mr. Brisbane. You take care of your end of it and don't worry about mine. My pictures will be as good as your interview and maybe a little bit better. Cocky little wench, aren't you? Well, I've had to hold my own against four brothers all my life. I guess I can handle a 4F like you. 4F? And what gives you the idea I'm in 4F? Well, I can't think of any other good reason you're not in uniform. Listen, baby, you're looking smack dab at a 14 carat 1A. No dependence, physically perfect, with a personal letter in his pocket from the president. 30 days from now, I'll be Jefferson B. Carter, Seaman, third class. Oh. Oh, yes. 30 days past September, April, June, and Jefferson B. Carter. Well, I'll take back the part of it about 4F. But the rest of it still stands. It makes me wish I was in the Navy right now. That makes two of us. All right, sailors, shove off. Going back. The enemy is I try to fight it. I try to fight it with all my willpower. 
feel. They can't live it. I locked myself in there with him. Fearing that I might do something terrible. Oh, I can't stand it any longer. I can't stand it. And the master must do what I am asking him. What did you ask him to do, James, that he refused? I must have human spinal fluid injected into me. It's my only chance. Sandra and I both agreed to it. It's the only way to counteract the eight fluid injection. But he won't do it. Please, James, please. I'll talk to George. I know he'll do anything to save you. I'll ask him. No, he won't. I plead. He begged. James tells me you refused to help him any further. Did he tell you why? No. Then I'll tell you. I'd have to commit murder to do it. Murder? Yes, cold-blooded murder. You see this spinal fluid that might cure him. And there's a great possibility it would. It's just a chance, you know. That fluid must be taken from a living person. And the taking of it means instant death. Well, I must say the house matches the old girl who would tea. What do you mean? She's a ghost hunter. Did you say ghost? Yeah. Ever see any? Ha, don't be silly. She has. <laughs> no kidding. She's written books about him. She's been all over the world, poking around in cemeteries and haunted houses. She just got back from a cook store of haunted castles in Europe. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let us see who it is. To may lay any suspicion, throw screams around. Jim has probably seen who it is in the televisor. He won't give himself away. Hello. You remember me? From the boat? Get started? Oh, yeah. Uh, this is Billy Mason. I brought her along uh, to get some more pictures. The others were a lot... Uh, they weren't good. Well, uh... I'm afraid it's too dark in here for pictures. Oh, no, it'll be perfectly okay. Oh, sure, it's okay. She makes pictures in tunnels. <laughs> All it? right. Secret Slam with hidden camera that really works. Secret Sam's periscope. You see him, but he can see you. You locate the master spy. You talk to him. And Secret Sam's hidden camera is taking his picture right now. Suddenly you're discovered. Secret Sam fires bullets from inside the case. Secret Sam has barrel extension. Special missile sends message to your partner. Mission accomplished. You hand over real photograph. Secret Sam with periscope, message missile, rifle stock, barrel extension, even shoots through this carrying case. And this real camera that works in secretly or out takes real photos. Secret Sam. Secret Sam. 
from the farthest reaches of the galaxy come the outer spacemen. Colossus Rex from the giant planet Jupiter. Astro Nautilus from beneath the seas of Neptune. Alpha 7, the man from Mars. And their interplanetary companions. Seven bendable, flexible figures from outer space. Complete with their own fantastic super weapons and detachable space helmets. They're here now at toy stores everywhere. The outer spacemen brought to Earth by Color Forms. This is one of his columns. He lives in a strange world, a world of vampires, werewolves, and dark shadows. Now the world of dark shadows is yours in a strange new game by Milton Bradley, the Barnabas Collins Dark Shadows game. Each player spins, then selects bones from the coffin. But watch out for the dreaded stake. You struggle to complete a skeleton. A skeleton that glows in the dark. If you win, the curse of the vampire is yours. Mm -hmm. When the game, you get a set of Barnabas fangs. Milton Bradley makes the best games in the world. And the Barnabas Collins game is the scariest. So get it. Agent Zero M. Taking movies in the park. Agent Zero M trapped, unarmed, fat chance. This movie camera isn't a movie camera. It's Mattel's new Zero M movie shot. A machine gun or a shot with a rifle. You have to be clever in this business because the other side is clever too. Clever enough to corner the smoothest agent, but the game isn't over yet. This camera case is actually the new Zero M undercover set. They didn't know you can buy the Zero M movie shot separately or the undercover set. Too bad. I'll be going, Miss Brewster. Just keep on with the prescription I gave you. Oh, oh I, I will, Doctor. Won't you come into the library? If you don't mind, Miss Brewster, I'd like to know a little more about your work, your book, etc. I think our readers would be interested. Oh, certainly. What's this for now? Thanks. Hey, what is it? I hope you'll pardon the appearance of this room, but I don't dare change a thing. The entities that haunt this house would not appear. They just find something. Cling only to the old familiar surroundings. You mean this house is really haunted? Certainly, child. All houses are haunted. All persons are haunted. Wrongs of spirit follow us everywhere. We are never alone. The room is crowded right now. I don't see anything. Oh, you can't see. Any more than you can see the room. They can destroy you if sufficiently with any way. Let us feel it so honest, gentle, and kind. And only want to bring happiness to you. But a few are evil. And having been wicked in life, are wicked and dead, and only haunt the scenes of death and life, reveling in murder. Hmm. That must have been the one we heard when we drove up, huh? Yes. You heard it? Yes. Right here? Oh, no, that's what I bought from Scotland. In the phonograph record. No kidding. <laughs> I thought I heard everything. Would you like to hear it? Well, what's in the room? as 
of the galloping ghost of Ben Raven. before Miss Mason passes out, huh? Certainly. Now, listen, Miss Brucey, you stand right over here by the phonograph, and uh, you hold this record. Hold it like that. Galloping goes himself, but it. <laughs> if I felt all right, that wouldn't get the last out of me. All right, let's go. You got any gas? What a lot of hooey. <laughs> the galloping goes, huh? I don't know who she thinks she's kidding. Meaning what? Does that record sound like the noise we heard when we drove up? Come to think of it. No. Going right. Well, yeah, there's something cool about the whole thing. I feel it in my bones. Maybe it's rheumatism. Yeah. No. All these years of cooperation. You need to die like this. You won't get away with it. Oh, please, James, stop me. Oh, leave me alone. Get up, get upstairs. I love you, please.
Are you completely insane? How did you get here? That's how our experiment is thought to be fixed. Are you wrong? No, my butler somewhere around. Why did you take such a chance? I had to, George. I had to. I'm desperate. You must have me. Get me the truth. Do you realize what you're asking me to do? Murder. Oh, call it what you like. Call it what you like. It's my life against somebody else's. And I don't want to live the rest of my life this way. And I won't. I'll. I'll. Yes? Someone from Street Headquarters to see you, sir. All right. Ask him to wait in the library. I'll be right back. Very good. You suppose anybody saw you come in here? No, I'm sure not. Stay right here. Don't take a chance on leaving. Oh, the captain sent me over to get some more soap on that Rooster disappearance case. But I've already told him all I know. Oh, there's a few things I'd like to check on. Very well. When the last time you saw Mr. Stresby, is that right? I could drop in tomorrow sometime and... Oh, there's just a few more things. Uh, where do I get this down? Well, I guess that's all. Thanks a lot, Doc. Not at all. Oh, if you think of anything else in connection with Dr. Booster, let us know. Looks like we sure can use a lot of help on this one. All right, I will. about the Brewster case. When did you discover this? Right after he left. You mean this happened while the cop was in the house? Evidently. Townsend admitted it. Yeah. Where's Townsend now? Right there. How about it, huh? Strangulation. And by someone with terrific strength. As they looked at the mouth and his throat.
clever to have sure needed a haircut. Sure yeah. luck, Lion. Yo, he I go, fighting man for red to go on the land, on the sea, in the air. He I go, attack! Boom, boom! He I go, take sail! Bam, bam! Terrific battle! Terrific equipment to have a battle with. When you get G.I. Joe and the authentic G.I. Joe equipment, you'll have the greatest realism, the greatest fun you ever had in playing soldier. Box after box of authentic uniforms and equipment so you can change your G.I. Joe soldier into a camouflage marine ready for battle. A Navy frogman with complete scuba suit and inflatable life raft. An Air Force pilot with high altitude helmet and air vest. Get G.I. Joe and get G.I. Joe equipment so you can set up exciting battle action whenever you want. Remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe. And this is Danny Dixon. And this is Danny Dixon. How did he get that way? With Mattel's new flight factory and his thing maker. Just plug it in. Pour in genuine plastic goop and out come fangs, claws, shrunken heads, and all sorts of scary things. Mattel's new flight factory. No wonder everybody calls Danny Dixon a little monster. You probably think I'm just an ordinary guy. But in the sinister world of counter-espionage, I'm known as Agent Zero M. Interesting equipment in counterintelligence. Like this portable radio. Supposing I'm here in Monte Carlo, trapped by enemy agents. I'd play it cool. Just want to hear a little music. That's a tune they didn't expect. The new Zero M radio rifle. Looks like a radio, but touch this button. Rather neat, eh? So's this. The Zero M jet coder pen has two points. Writes a secret message you can see only with these glasses. And fires a jet of water 30 feet. To get your Zero M radio rifle and jet coder, just remember the password. Bobby, are you gonna mow the lawn or not? The password? Zero M. Pretty creatures with the eerie glowing features. They're boys and girls who've discovered Kenner's new lightning bug glow juice. Paint it on yourself. It soaks up the light and then glows in the dark. Make all kinds of things glow in the dark with Kenner's glimmering, shimmering lightning bug glow juice. It'll glow on you. Say, isn't that the guy we saw at Brewster? It does look like him, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, there's pictures. Okay. What's happened to him? Just lost his butler by his strangulation. Mm -hmm. Stop to find a pin it on an eight. Can you tie that? Here. Well, I see you got something on the film anyway. Now, let's know, man, River. Uh-oh. Trying to pull a Barney, huh? What do you mean? Two pictures for the price of one again. Look at that. Where? Right there. Well, I never saw that before. What is it? How did it get there? It's like a gorilla to me. A gorilla? Yeah. Don't ever don't. Well, what heading does that come under? Quick photography? Is it a game? No, I didn't do it. It's in the picture. It was there when I shot it. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. Maybe this is the galloping ghost and grin raven or whatever his name was in the flesh. Remember those sounds? Yeah. Is that the way a gorilla sounds? I'm not much of a tar there, but could be. So, the butler of the guy we saw there was murdered by an ape. I wonder. What are you going to do? Try to sell the boss a bill of goods. Do you want me to go Oh, honey, you stay right there. Say, maybe you're my lucky number. <laughs> Yes. No, I expect you. Yes. I got it, I got it. 
I got it. Look. Fluid. The spinal fluid. Did you know you got it? Yes. Yeah. That's why I expected you. He said he wouldn't have... He did. I did. He is going to make the injection. He refuses. I tell him. Yes. I mean just what I said. to the police to save you yesterday and made myself almost as guilty as you are. But I won't incriminate myself any further. I'm through. Oh, no, you're not. Threats will do you no good. If necessary, I'll go to the police and tell them the whole story. You'll do as James says. Go on, hurry. Ready, doctor?
Just that old pest of a newspaper man again, Miss Brucey. I thought you said you'd phone me before coming back. I, I, I did. But, but uh, your phone seemed to be always busy. Or uh, out of order, maybe. Have you tried your phone lately? It could be, you know. Oh, those things get out of order. Funny thing, I know a fellow that had a telephone that was always out of order. Well, uh, shall we uh, go in with the galloping ghost? Time to go to my house, Mr. Carter. Oh, I'm not hearing that ghost business. No? No. I bought the same in that story for a sunny edition. But uh, he does want me to work on your brother's case. Has the police got anything definite to report? No, he's completely disappeared. I can't understand it myself. It's dreadful. Yeah, suppose work had anything to do with it? A uh, nervous breakdown or amnesia? Anything like that? I don't know. I was in Europe, as you know. I haven't seen him in over a year. But his work was difficult, wasn't it? Seems to me I heard something about his terrific experiment. Yes, he has a very scientific mind. Eh, yeah, just like my uncle. <laughs> his house was always full of guinea pigs and rats, even monkeys. Big ones, too. <laughs> Scared the daylights out of my head. So? Yeah, one day she just up and left them. And I don't blame her. Just imagine that door right now and coming face to face with a gorilla. Oh, but I suppose you're used to that sort of thing. I understand that your brother did a lot of work on gorillas and apes, didn't he? I wouldn't know. He never discussed those things with me. Well, I guess you can't be any help to me. I'll uh, just have to dig up what I can for myself. Thanks. Oh, by the way, uh, Miss Brewster, did your brother have a laboratory here in the house where he worked? Not that I know of. Okay, I thought maybe I'd find something there that might give me a lead. Well, thanks, and goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Carter. A very clever young man, that. Yes, I heard. Do you think the fluid will cure James completely? Permanently? I don't know. But it's useless for him to look to me for any more help. I warn you, I'll go to the police first. this special delayed action target comes with it. Get Mattel's powerful Zero M Sonic Blaster wherever toys are sold. Remember the password. Zero M. This is Major Matt Mason, Mattel's man in space. Ready for every adventure with all his official equipment. The space station, protected by solar shields. The moon suit, Designed for exploration. The space crawler that keeps on going no matter what. Get them together or separately. And share the exciting adventures of Major Matt Mason, Mattel's new man in space. This is a creature from the lost world. A creature created by you. 
With Mattel's strange change machine, you turn time capsules into weird creatures. You control the compression chamber, which turns these creatures back into capsule. Be the creator of a lost world with Mattel's strange change machine. Motorized monsters. Fiendishly fun. And you make them walk with your motorized monster maker. You pour the colored plastics for OG Ogre. With extra kits, you make Harry Harry, Harry, or bald. You choose the ears for Galaxon, the horns for Willy Weird Wolf. Motorized monsters. Design them, make them, get them. committed in this precinct, and not one single suspect brought in. Where did that put us? Right on the spot. They all look like they were committed by the same person, Captain. Outside of that, we haven't got a single thing to go on. Uh, thanks, Captain. I suppose you expect the killer to come in and give himself up, huh? Now listen. Get out and get that guy. Or I'll transfer you so far back in the six. The bears will be chasing up the trees. Come on now, get out. Get out. Comfortable? Well, hello, stranger. Where have you been all week? I thought your draft board had caught up with you. I've been parked in the bushes outside the Brewster home so long, I nearly took root. Waiting for the galloping ghosts to go by? No, I've got a hunch there's something truer than ghosts in that joint. Well, why didn't you let me in on it? Because if my hunch is correct, it's no place for a babe in the woods like you. Oh, by the way, if you need any more bobby pins, you'll find mine in the second drawer. <laughs> Thanks.
Jetzt sehen wir uns mit Gras. Trenn mich mit dem Stein. Trenn This is only a chance to become... Absolutely no. And don't call me again. The police have been here several times this week. They may trace the call. What did you say? How soon did he be here? He's not coming. That's what he said. Must. Who is already? He won't keep. Oh, tell him that. Which? It won't do any good. He won't do it. up on the hair, a new pair of lips, and you're as good as new. Where are you going? Back to my listening post. Rooster? Uh-huh. Can I go with you? Uh-uh. Well, why not? No place for little girls. There's too many snakes, frogs, and lizards. Big ones. Big as alligators. And besides, if I have to run, I don't want to wait for you. Oh, uh, don't wait up for me.
Here's what a vacuum foam can do. Look at the things it'll make for you. One kit you buy will fill a zoo. And this new kit makes trucks for you. That's what a vacuum foam can do. Make jeeps and tanks, it's up to you. Another kit for metals, too. That's what a vacuum foam can do. Get vacuum foam, make anything with plastic and a mold. These kits and packs come separately wherever toys are sold. A one, a two, a three, four, five, a six. Six! Six! Surprise! It's Six Finger! It looks like a finger, but watch him flip. It's a secret weapon at your fingertip. Just point and fire. Six Finger sends an SOS missile to your friends. Six Finger! Six Finger! Six Finger! Fires cap loaded bombs and they explode as a ballpoint pen and signals in code. Looks like a finger so no one can see who has Six Finger. Yay! 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 Shoots rockets that burst and bombs that explode and writes with a pen and signals in code shoot message missiles and watch them go and it looks like your finger and how will they know six finger six finger six finger here's how to get it on the card right there less than two dollars everywhere six finger six finger man alive how did i ever get along with five it's time for funny face <laughs> funny face is time to drink oh that is here he comes <laughs> Fun and 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 Sugar. Mom lets me drink all I want, because there's not a speck of sugar in Funny Face, but it tastes good and sweet. And no sugar mess all over the kitchen either. Funny Face is fun to drink. Ask them for Funny Face drinks. <laughs>
yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. Who came to Randall to warn him about someone? Now, uh, who was it? you over my knee and paddle you good. Don't be a chump. Hey, what are you doing in my car? Who are you anyway? Me? Oh, I'm the author of the story. Screw the idea, wasn't it?
on the mow, give it a crack on the mow, then lift up the flap, strip off the wrap, and hey, away we go. We're gonna taste Turkish taffy. Hey, it's delish. Taste Turkish taffy answers every wish. One nice and chewy, two nice and sweet, three, three in the, the flavor, flavor that you prefer. It truly can't be beat. Cause you get chocolate, vanilla, strawberry too, even banana doodle. When you take a trip to your candy store, be sure to get you some Turkish taffy. Yum, yum, yum. You smell it. B O N O M O Bonamo. Oh, oh, Bonamo. Hey, one more time. You smell it. B O N O M O Bonamo. Oh, oh, Bonamo. Turkish taffy.